What up, you guys? It's your girl Chantel, the prototype, and we are back with another lingerie review. This versus that. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel, and if you don't already, go ahead and smash the subscribe button while you're here for everything body positivity, lingerie, self-love, self-care, and being the best version of yourself. That's all I teach right here on my page. And of course, everything fitness related when it comes to the plus size community. I just love being active, going to the gym. So follow me on my journey so I can motivate you on your journey. However you want to look at it, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. And if you don't already, go ahead and follow me on all major platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, fan base, uh, Playboy Centerfold, OnlyFans. You can follow me on all platforms, including Pinterest, guys. Don't skip. I'll pause this video right here. Go ahead and follow me on all social media sites if you don't already. I know I like to dance. So, welcome, welcome back, guys. If you don't already, and if you have not already watched my video from Monday when I did a lingerie unboxing, because, of course, Room 69 sent me two new pieces to try on. And the reason I unboxed them Monday and I'm reviewing them on Friday is because I wanted to wear them around the house so I can give you an authentic review on how they feel, how they look, how I like the material, all that good stuff so you can make the sound decision whether you want to go purchase them yourself but i will not steal you wrong in the capacity of i like what i like that's just it so if you don't already know this is my artwork the epitome of a black woman go ahead down below is the link and you can order you a few pieces to add to a collection start a collection guys support your girl because yeah, I love what I do, and that's one form of me loving what I do and loving my body is my black nude art. Go check it out. The epitome of a black woman. You can buy your art piece. You can support the cause. It comes framed already. So all you have to do is unbox and put it on your wall. It makes some great talking pieces, uh, centerpieces in your man cave, in your office, in your dining room. You know, go ahead, copy some pieces. And um, go ahead and slide over to my collection at Room 69 and copy some lingerie pieces. Some pieces I've already done a review on. Some pieces that you may find new but are old to me. But I still love and I wear and I flaunt in my collection. So a lot of these came from Room 69. And if not, I'll definitely put the link down below to other pieces and other brands that you may like. You may see me in. And you may have questions on where I cop that piece from. And I'm here to let you know, because I'm not a gatekeeper. I'm not. I want everybody to feel sexy, look sexy. Guys, if you're following me and you love the pieces, go ahead and buy them for a significant other, a partner, you know, a boo thing, however you want to see it. Ladies, go ahead and purchase a piece for yourself. Flaunt your sexy around your house. Own who you are and love the body that you are blessed with. And whatever you don't like, head over to my fitness page, find what suits you, and start working out with me and i'll motivate you on that avenue as well i just want everybody to be the best version of themselves back that's the lingerie. lingerie so first we're going to talk about the sexy nude piece yes originally they were supposed to send me a black piece at least that's what i thought because that's the picture sent she sent to me i didn't know it came in nude but the nude piece i'm gonna have to rate this one probably a seven out of ten only because nude and this color is not nude for my skin. That's the only reason. Like, people always be like, oh, this is nude. That's not nude for me. I'm a darker complexion woman, so this is not nude. So that's one default I found about this outfit. Uh, it's not my nude. So I would probably prefer the black piece uh, for myself. But the color looks amazing on my skin. It's just not nude that I would prefer it to give. Um, one. Two... It has minimal stretching because I guess of the the, the uh, latex or the fox leather. I don't know what you want to call it, faux leather. I, I don't know, but it stretches not as much as you wish it could, but it is sexy. One thing I do like about this piece 
is how it cuts on the side. It comes up high enough. And if you watch any of my previous videos when I do lingerie reviews, that is big when it comes to plus size women because these hips be hipping. So I need my lingerie to cut up versus down because if it cuts down, it cuts into my waist. You really can see the indention. So I wanted a high cut and that gives that. I really, really love that when it comes to this piece. Um, so seven out of 10 is where I'm rolling with this piece only because it's not the color nude that I prefer. I would have preferred the black piece uh, over the nude because that nude is not my nude, uh, but it's still sexy. It, you know, complements my skin tone. Um, like I said, it doesn't stretch as much as we wish it would stretch only because the type of material that it's made of and the mesh does not itch. Yes. The mesh does not itch, and yes, that matters because, like I said, if you watch my previous videos, I had a piece where the mesh itched to death, and I didn't like that. So this time, the mesh doesn't itch, and it sits your booty, uh, your boobies, it cups your boobies properly. Y'all got, you, you see it. You see where I'm going with this. I really enjoy this piece. It's sexy. I'm going to have to give it a 7 out of 10. Yes, I'm a little harsh on my lingerie because... Um, I've been doing this for a long time and I have quite an extensive collection. And so things that I would wear on a regular, like around the house is a little different than what I would probably wear to events that I host. And so I'm reading it on that too. So I can't wear that piece per se around the house as much as I would like to, but I can flaunt it from time to time. If I'm trying to impress, show off, flaunt my sexy, especially for a man. A lot of times I do put on my lingerie to flaunt my sexy in front of a man. That'll probably be a piece that I would flaunt my sexy in front of a man. Now, him taking it off me might be another whole problem, but we ain't getting to that part yet. But yeah, check this piece out. Like I said, you can find it on Room 69. I rated a 7 out of the 10. Why? Because it's not my color nude, and that could be a little harsh. Y'all can decide on your own. Go ahead and cop the piece from Room 69, and I'll definitely leave the link down below so you can copy your piece. And, of course, a lot of lingerie pieces, you can transform it to wear outside with some jeans or, you know, a cute bottom set. So it's all up to you, and um, that outfit, you possibly can do that. And I'll figure out how I can transform some of my lingerie from in the house to outdoors. I told y'all a long time ago that I was going to do that. I don't always wear my lingerie outside because I love being sexy around my house. But there are some pieces that you can put with some, you know, mom jeans or some boyfriend jeans. And you can bring the sexy to life and take it outdoors on adventures with yourself. That's all I got. That's all I got. So, piece number two is this sexy red strappy piece. Yes. I love, love, love. It kind of reminds me of this piece as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in that collection. I like to combine some of my lingerie pieces that remind me of another lingerie piece. piece and this kind of does. It gives me that scrappy vibe. And um, I got a lot of scrappy pieces. And I love, love, love this scrappy piece. And it's very, very comfortable. I'm definitely going to have to give this red piece a 9.5 out of a 10. They be like, dang, you can't give nothing to 10. Well, not per se quite yet, because it's not giving me everything that I desire fully. But I'm always here to give pointers on how you can improve designing lingerie for plus size women. And I hope designers, owners, brand take heed to some of these video reviews that I do when it comes to lingerie and how to design them for plus size women. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of plus size women like myself or people designers don't design a lot of these pieces for plus size women they're smaller people or they're people men who've never worn lingerie design some pieces for lingerie and they don't consider a lot of small things that you probably can tweak in lingerie to make it more comfortable for plus size community and i'm here to just let y'all you want know. me to review your lingerie to give you tips on how to make it a little bit better i'm here to do that no judgment i just want lingerie to be comfortable for all sizes not small not just big for everybody 
So that's why I'm here to give lingerie reviews and let y'all know, you know, how I feel in these pieces, how it makes me look, you know, how it feeds my energy and my confidence. That's why I'm here with when it comes to these lingerie pieces. I want to give y'all the best and honest and authentic review that I possibly can. So back to the scrappy piece. So I'm going to have to give it a 9.5. Uh, this is a piece that I can wear around my house. Yes. Uh, the reason I gave it a 9.5 is because I always talk about the thong when it comes to lingerie. Uh, when it comes to plus size uh, lingerie wearers, I do not like the thick band of in the back when it comes to a thong. Let me show y'all. So in, you see this? Thick band. If this was a little bit more thinner, if this was thinner, this would be a lot better. This is the thong part. Yeah, it's a lot of parts to this outfit, but the thong part, if this was thinner and more sleeker to go in my booty, you know, I would appreciate that a little bit more. That's where the point five comes from. That's the only thing that takes away from the outfit is I wish the thong was a thinner scrap because once a woman like myself, size like myself, put on lingerie like that, it automatically eats it up. Automatically. There is no way around it. My booty is going to eat it. And so with that in mind, I really just wish they made the scraps thinner so it can just like lay in my yeah so that's where the 9.5 comes in but other than that i love the scrappy piece it's red it's sexy it's comfortable you know it goes around your neck it doesn't pull on your neck and then again i don't have big big boobs for you know the circumference of my hips so my boobs are fairly average which uh some things i wear they seem heavy but this outfit it does not give me heavy only because it has more uh support and it has the uh it has the wire for the bra so that's even more support that lays against your body and kind of cups your boobs that's what it does along with the support around your neck so this is a great piece to add to your collection like i said a 9.5 only because of the thong um make and i just prefer a, a thinner scrap when it comes to thongs in lingerie or the thong silhouette of a lingerie piece like that so that's the only thing that um i would have to say i don't enjoy about this piece it's easy to put on by myself um it's not complicated it only looks complicated off but once you start putting it on it all makes sense um and you do find lingerie pieces that are extremely hard to put on by yourself and this one doesn't give me that but the tan one before that i said that one is extremely hard to zip by yourself I don't know, you know, little arms. I was over here like this. It was a time. But I got it on and I was able to review it. But it just took me a little longer to put that lingerie piece on by myself. The red one, not so much. So I definitely enjoyed that. First tan piece, I give it a 7.5. Only because it's not my nude. Yeah, I know it, it might be a little rough rating, but that's my rating. Order it yourself and give it your own rating. Go ahead and type down below how you think I look in this line. Type down below. Let me know what you think of this piece. If you're not giving it a 7.5 and you're giving it more, let me know. Let me know how you feel about this piece on my body. Also, the red piece. Let me know how you feel. This versus that. Tell me which one is your favorite lingerie piece write it down in the comments let me know and let me know if there's any more lingerie pieces you guys want me to review any brands you want me to review when it comes to lingerie swimsuit or fitness i love everything that makes a woman feel sexy and i'm gonna bring that to you on this channel guys if you don't already hit the subscribe button follow me on all major platforms you know just show your girl support i'm here to build confidence self-love self-care you know motivate women to love themselves authentically and appreciate where you are in life and know that there is only one version of you and you have to give that to the world because that's what we want the best version of you at that. So continue to grow to be the best version of yourself, love on yourself, and flaunt your sexy ladies. And guys, we need you here more than ever to support us, to cheer us on, to be our champions in this journey. And of course, you can learn some tips from me too when it comes to self-love and self-care and use them in your own personal life to build yourself up. I'm here to help. That's what I'm here for, to help you along your journey of self-love and self-care. So until next time, guys, follow me on all platforms, subscribe down below, and until next time, peace.